You need this RTX color grading and I'm gonna show you how to make it using a free software called DaVinci Resolve. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is find the hero shot. This is the most important frame and I think it's right here. So let's head on over to the color page and all of this can look very confusing, but don't worry, I'm gonna break it down for you. So your offset is your overall video. Your gain is all of those bright points. Your gamma is everything in the middle and your lift is all of the dark points. Now you can obviously use this color wheel to push color into your video, but you can also adjust the intensity with this wheel down below. So with that being said, we're gonna start with our curves. Now this is basically like any photo editing software. We're gonna add three points, one at the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. And I'm gonna bring this point down so we get some darker shadows i'm gonna bring this point up so we get some lighter light and i'm not really gonna touch this midpoint now we can see what our image looked like before by either clicking this lower left hand corner of the node or hitting Control d now making this s curve adds a little bit of saturation so what i like to do is take it down almost to the point where it's too much but then i go over to color boost and push back the color at this point you can refine your shape shadows and your highlights by adjusting well your shadows and your highlights the idea here is to kind of overexpose the sky a little bit so we're gonna bring this up and we want these shadows to be really intense so we're gonna bring this down after some tweaking this is what we get and it's looking pretty good so we can move on to the actual color grade technically we could do everything in one node but that's just going to create a mess so we're gonna right click go down to add node add cereal and now you can start messing with all these colors so what I like to do is start with my offset and push in a little lot of bit of blue here to get kind of a cooler tone but to balance this out what you need to do is go over to your gamma and I'll push kind of in the opposite direction here now one thing that I like to do is focus on a single area like this wall right here and adjust my colors to make this look good so before it it just had too much blue in it by pushing in uh, more of this red magenta look we start to flatten that out now this is looking all right but we've run into a bit of a problem if I turn off this node you'll notice our shadows are looking a little blue here remember our lift is all of those dark points so if we push in just a touch of red it starts to balance everything out if I turn this off hey our shadows aren't just flickering blue and then black but now we've run into another problem. By pushing in all of this red, our image has lost that cool tone to it. So with our gain, we're just gonna push in a little bit of blue. This is what we should end up with. Kind of a desaturated high contrast look. It's always good to see the before and after. So highlight both nodes and hit control D. Oh, that difference is crazy. Now we're not done yet because we have to really overexpose this sky because we're trying to replicate a camera lens. So we're going to right click our second node, go down to add node, but we're not going to add serial. We're going to add parallel. This is because it kind of acts like layers where anything we do here gets affected by this. Now what we can do is open up the effects tab and then drop in glow. Now I only want this to affect the bright parts of the image. So I'm gonna turn up the shine threshold and yeah, that's pretty much it. You can just go through and adjust your game and your gamma and your spread. Look at how much better this looks. Last step is kind of optional, but we're gonna add a little bit of vignette around here. So we're gonna right click this thingy, the little mixer, add node, add serial, open up effects and just scroll down till you find vignette, drop that on. Don't worry, it's okay. We're gonna switch this to advanced, bump up that size like crazy, uh, the, the softness too and the transparency. So we just get a touch of that vignette. Now this is great and all, but what if we had a second clip that we had to add color grading to. It would be a pain to copy all those settings. So what you can do is go to clips and you'll see you have one clip with color grading and another clip without. If you select the clip without color grading and then middle mouse button click the clip with color grading, it gets applied. It copies all these nodes. And that's how you make this RTX look. If you want this exact color grading, you can join my Discord and download a whole bunch of free color packs. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Goodbye.